Hi everybody, Dominic Gladstone here from Gladstone & Associates, Act Naturally Studios. Uh, we're still talking about event production because that is the, um, the buzz for 2021. Are we going to go back to live events? And what is that going to look like? And planning events, I, I'm dealing with event planners, event managers, uh, and event specialists, and I, I'm dealing with several clients who are trying to plan ahead this year, uh, which has been a moving target. Events have been totally a moving target. We don't know what it's going to look like in the late summer, early fall, uh, going into you know the winter time and so forth at, at the end of this year. We just don't know what it's going to look like yet. So um, how do you plan ahead? And it comes down to pre-production. Uh, something I've talked about in other videos, uh, planning ahead for video production. Video production is not an add-on anymore. You don't plan an, an event and then say, by the way, I'd like to hire a photographer and a videographer to capture it. You actually need to involve a producer in the planning phases of the event to talk about what it's going to look like on camera. Uh, not necessarily for still photographs, but certainly for video production. And the pre-production planning for whether you're going to do live, hybrid, or completely virtual uh, occurs in the pre-production phase. You really need to be working side-by-side, -side, event planner and event producer side-by-side -side together. Uh, just a couple of quick thoughts when you're planning out these events. Um, if you're going to plan an in-person event, the format of the event itself looks very different. You know, you can have concurrent sessions going on uh, with people splitting off into different rooms and so forth, which you can also do virtually. But uh, the biggest complaint I get from event planners is that uh, a lot of virtual events are, are just not engaging enough. You know, people uh, click on the screen and and then they walk away and go make a sandwich or start answering email or doing things that, you know, uh, keep them busy while they're at, uh, attending a virtual event. And while you can get better attendance with virtual events, do you really get better engagement with virtual events? So your format of your event itself needs to change. It, 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 it's a strong suggestion that you look at the actual format. Having your typical event where a presenter is used to walking into a room and putting up a PowerPoint presentation with uh, 10, 20, 30 slides and speaking for 45 minutes and then asking for 15 minutes worth of questions and answers at the end, that format works in person when you have you know, engagement in a live event only. But when you're going hybrid or you're going virtual, you need to look at the planning phase of what are the camera angles going to look at. You can't just do a single camera locked off on a speaker for 45 minutes. That would be somewhat boring. You also want to look at um, uh, the format of the presentation. How can you make it more interactive? How can you make it more engaging for your audience? Perhaps using chat or polls uh, and, and asking questions uh, every five to eight minutes or so. Remember, America has been programmed for years by television. And in television, there's not more than six minutes worth of programming before they break to commercial and, and something happens, something changes, the scene ends. But in, in presentations in the event world, we've watched people stand there for 45 minutes talking and doing a PowerPoint presentation. I'm urging you to rethink how you plan events and work with an event producer to make it engaging. To take that, um, it's like taking a novel and transferring it to a two-hour movie. You can't take a novel that's this thick and translate that into a two-hour movie easily. You've got to work on the conversion of that. There's somebody who has adapted that for television or adapted that for a movie. So you need to take what you want in your content in an event and the goal that you have with your audience, create more engagement opportunities, and look at reformatting it in a way that we have different camera angles, we have interactivity, uh, this is when we cut to the chat, this is when we do a poll, the, there's other 
engagement opportunities. Um, and, and, and looking at how you format those events is extremely important. Um, I invite you to reach out uh, to me if you have any questions. Dominic Gladstone. I'm very easy to find on the internet. And I have multiple websites, Gladstone and Associates and Act Naturally Studios. Uh, I'll put stuff down in the uh, information section on this YouTube video. But um, I urge you to take a look at how you format your events uh, in 2021 and moving forward so that you can create better engagement both in person, virtually, and of course, hybrid, where you have part in person and part online. Uh, look forward to helping with you with your events in the future. If you have any questions, please reach out. Uh, thank you so much, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.